Well, we are back in Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen, where this week Holly and AJ are taking the shrimp Kristen just told us about and serving them up over some delicious Louisiana rice. Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen is brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board, Louisiana Crawfish, Ask Before You Eat, and by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board, Rice, a world of great ideas, and by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show. Hello everyone and welcome to Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen. I am AJ Sabine and Holly, welcome back. How well, are you? Great to be here. Yes ma'am, spring has sprung and uh, I would be remiss if I wouldn't thank the Around Town TV show for allowing us to be here in their wonderful kitchen set. Absolutely, it's such a pleasure to cook here. Thank you Around Town. Yes ma'am. And we also, this month is about rice. Right. Tell us about it. Well, and I do remember when I was on the combine harvesting rice. It was really such a great experience. But rice, you know, in Louisiana, we love rice, and especially, of course, we have this wonderful Louisiana rice. So it's good. Today, I'm going to show you one of my five, six ingredient recipes. It's a great family pleaser, easy to do, and it's made with rice. So and Holly, you got shrimp going on here. I have our right, our wonderful Louisiana shrimp. We're taking advantage of all our great resources. We've just sauteed our shrimp. And this is just some canned mushrooms. This is how easy this is. And a little onion and garlic. So now we're just going to add our other ingredients, okay. which this is evaporated skim milk. We'll let it get to a little bubble. Uh, this is salsa. And, you know, I usually use just whatever salsa I have hanging around. All right. And then we're going to add some green onions. Um, I think that adds such a good crunch and color. Yes, ma'am. And then, I hear you can help a little bit. Yeah. Please let me help. Little, and this is reduced fat sharp cheese. Go on and put that sharp. in. Sharp. Mm -hmm. That's going to give you a lot of flavor. Absolutely. Right. Okay. And then a little Worcestershire sauce. You know, how can we cook without a little bit of that? What, what much... inspires you to put all of these different flavors together when, you, when you're thinking about recipes? Well, I, I think it's what I do is I try to include the least amount of ingredients to give it the most flavor. Everybody's busy. Nobody wants a long grocery list. And so my goal is to make cooking easy for you, healthier, and it's going to be family favorites. Now, of Here's course... Here's the star of the show. The star ingredient is rice, and this is cooked rice. So this is one of these that you can almost use leftover rice, and again, it makes a great... Uh, casserole. We're just doing it, and this is it. This is it. All you do is put it in here, mix it together, okay. and you are done. You put it in a casserole dish, and this feeds it. If you're having company coming in, this is a great dish, a family, and rice freezes well, too. And now, spe speaking of rice, I want to thank all of the uh, rice farmers out there. Did you know that over 400,000 acres of rice are grown right here in Louisiana? I would believe it because we do have the best Louisiana rice. Yes, ma'am. Okay, now let's go to this. Now, you know, if you have leftover rice, sometimes you don't know what to do with it or you think, oh, goodness. Sometimes I make extra rice so I have leftover. So now, this is a little lanyap right here. Absolutely. And I want to show you how easy it is to turn leftover rice into a, just a sizzling side. Now this is brown rice. Yes. So, you know, there's different varieties of rice. And what people don't realize, there's three and a half grams of fiber to one cup of rice, regular rice, and it's less than one gram. So this is an easy transition to make. But um, I have to ask you, what, how is it fair on the yummy scale? Well, I think the actually a whole, the brown rice has a little more texture, and they make it so it's not like so dark. My husband doesn't know the difference. I use it in gumbo or whatever. He doesn't. Shh. Don't tell him, folks. If you now that him. everybody knows, y'all can frame me. Okay. <laughs> Now, so again, this yes. is leftover rice, and I just went to my kitchen. This is some green onions, adds a little crunch, some chopped parsley. A parsley, all right. And if you have, this happens to be fresh, but you could use uh, dried, and, and this is pine nuts. Now, this is an interesting ingredient. Tell folks about well, this. Well, pine nuts, I just wanted a little added crunch. You could use toasted pecans, toasted almonds, and I toasted pine nuts, were, which are really sort of Mediterranean. It's a panoli nut, mm -hmm. but we're going to mix this in. Okay, now we have to have just a little extra flavor. Got a little straggler there. And this is the Nakano seasoned rice vinegars, and they have different flavors. It's a great way to splash on that boost of flavor without any extra fat. And I'm partial to the roasted garlic, but you have all different Who flavors. Who isn't? Who isn't? Who isn't? And we're just going to splash this on, and you wouldn't believe the punch that just from this little, these four ingredients with the just the vinegar, that's all I'm using. And this is pantry friendly, keep it around. Now, could uh, this be an entree or an appetizer or? Well, it could. You could, you, I use it as a side with fish or chicken or whatever you're cooking, but you know, a lot of vegetarians, it could be a meatless meal because mm -hmm. it has a lot of good ingredients. And 
cooking's creative. I, you know, this is a good example. Whatever you have hanging around in your refrigerator, toss it in. If you have some leftover veggies, throw it in. It's a great way to uh, keep it. And here, this is done, and I think we're yep. ready to taste. And you know what? That's why folks love you, is because you put little ingredients together and you make something really big with it. And mm. speaking of love, you folks stick around because you're going to love how this is going to look when we come back. Stick around, folks. Yeah, this is great. Folks, we're back. Thank you so much for sticking around. Holly, show folks this beautiful recipe that you've prepared today. Here it is, and like I said, it's a crowd pleaser, family pleaser, about six ingredients, easy to do. And here's how we jazzed up just some leftover rice. Uh, rice is our star ingredient. It's very versatile. You could do it from a main dish to a side. And of course, we all love it in gumbos. And all right, Holly, you're keeping me from this recipe. How do I, I want to dig this in here. This is the tasting. I always say the proof is in the tasting. And again, these are all trim and terrific. All my recipes have your nutritional information and your diabetic exchanges. And uh, of course, my Gulf Coast favorites has all your Louisiana favorites. Drum roll and let's taste. I'm going to tell you all folks, I have the best job in the world. I'm standing next to a beautiful woman with a plate of food in my hand. Things Sounds good to be me. Better. Folks, I want to ask you, Holly, where can folks find this, these recipes? Uh, you could find these recipes uh, on my website, which is hollyclegg.com, mm. or I have a blog as well. It'll lead you for there. And then I know on our twyla.org, we mm -hmm. put the recipes and the uh, video as well. So I'm all over the place. The main thing is I want you to cook and try them. This is so sweet. You can feel the, the taste. Is, I mean, you can feel the, the velvety texture of the cheese. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful, wonderful. And our Louisiana rice, we're so fortunate to have it here mm -hmm. and use it. Use it and abuse it. Folks, if you'd like this recipe or you'd like to find out what Holly and I are doing, you can always log on to our website at twilighttv.org. And Holly, you also have a blog, right? Right. It's thehealthycookingblog.com. So enjoy, mm. enjoy, enjoy. <laughs> Holly Clegg's Trim and Terrific Kitchen was brought to you by the Louisiana Crawfish Promotion and Research Board. Louisiana Crawfish, ask before you eat. And by the Louisiana Rice Promotion Board. Rice, a world of great ideas. And by the Louisiana Beef Industry Council. Beef, it's what's for dinner. Kitchen facilities provided by the Around Town Television Show.